the content of this video is going to be a little different. This is about my uh, oxalic acid vaporizer. If you haven't heard of that, it's because it's a, a beekeeping thing and you use the gas from oxalic acid to help control varroa mites. And this is a unit I built uh, two years ago and it is designed to work on uh, heat from a propane torch rather than electricity. So you don't have to carry around a big battery and everything. But it does have some disadvantages. Um, one is it's pretty cumbersome mechanism. It's got the bellows on there to drive the arrow through. <coughs> got a gas valve there. And then that cap is where I put the oxalic acid. And when I take that cap off, and I just put the uh, oxalic acid in the cap, and then when I heat it up, the vapors are going to go up that pipe and out that uh, end where it's smashed down. And then I use a uh, entrance reducer to uh, limit the amount of gas that's going to escape out of there. And then I can put a towel on it to keep the gases from coming out or anything. But it's really kind of a cumbersome deal. Not ideal for uh, the job, but it does work. And um, I don't have to lug around batteries. So I guess, in a sense, it's accomplished the uh, purpose that it's designed for, but it's not super... Um, easy to operate. So I'm going to have to hook up my vaporizer or my propane torch and then I'll get this screwed on and um, heat it up and pump it into the hive. Uh, I may not be able to tape all of that because I would need yet another person to deal with the videotaping of that. And uh, there's only so much labor I can get around here. Now there is a little product called a gas vap, GAS-VAP, that does a similar function. Uh, but as far as I know, it's only available in England. And I suppose once you paid shipping and value-added tax and all that stuff to get it to the U.S., it may not work out well. But what we should do is... Uh, you know, somehow get in contact with some uh, big outlet like Brushy Mountain or Daydant or somebody who can uh, work out a deal to import them and then I won't have to make those. Uh, but I think I'll probably make some additional attempts to improve this one and potentially even make it a one-man operation if I can figure out how to work it off of a um, chef's torch like they use for the gas vap and uh, have it uh, a little more simplified so I don't have to um, pump the bellows to push air through it. And theirs is just driven by the um, flame from that torch and goes through the combustion chamber and then pushes the uh, the hot gases into the hive just naturally from the flame. But this setup, um, not ideal. And it's not really cheap to make, although I could have eliminated the gas valve. That's a pretty expensive part. But the other expensive parts are these um, brass fittings down there that, that are crucial to the design. Although if you heat more than one hive up, that uh, cap can get pretty hot, so you want to be careful dealing with the, with that and uh, potentially cool it down between loads because if you put new uh, oxalic acid in there, it can turn to a liquid immediately just on spooning it in there. I haven't really 
had it start gassing on me yet, but I'm sure it could. Uh, anyway, this is a video I'm going to make for uh, my beekeeper friends. So I hope it circulates in those uh, circles and uh, gets the word out to uh, people who want to have something that's not uh, electrically powered. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, etc.